Fallon. Hello, Fallon Heads. I'm Fluttershy, and today we're going to be playing Doki Doki Literature Club. I've heard very interesting things about this. I have no idea what to expect. It looks very nice and pretty and pink and cute, and my expectations are pretty high, pretty low, pretty in the middle. Buckle up our seats, and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so it's saying here to enter your name, so I'm going to be kind of dumb because I don't I don't know what this is. I'm going to put Flutter. Chan. Wait, I can't put the line? Oh, okay. Flutter Chan. There, that, that's my name. Flutter Chan, let's go. Please, please record. Okay, good. Let's go. Get your popcorn, guys. Stop. Hey, stop. Wait, hold on. Sorry. Oh, gosh. I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, weaving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. I don't have any water with me, guys. I have... The, the girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today. You... Okay, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. Uh, oh, I, I guess. Is she really a friend at that point? We used to walk to school together on days like these. Like this. But starting but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently. And I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I always feel better off running away. Wow, she's really not your friend at that point. However, I just sigh an idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. <gasps> uh, wait, I, sh I should have a, na uh, a voice. I overslept again! But I caught you this time! Maybe, maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Flutter Chun. Kobenasai. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayuri. My nose. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. <laughs> As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Flutter Time, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh? So, Nakuta Nayo, you told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did. In one of our many conversations, where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. I really don't like her. Sayori likes to worry... Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me. But I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Aren't we playing both of that? Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. Alright, so that's that's an anime term if you guys don't know what a neat means. It basically means someone who's it's a term called hikamori, which basically means a shut-in. You don't do anything but just stay indoors and play games and anime all day. And it's really sad life. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. Just put your hands down. Why were you stuck like that? We gotta go to school. Where's your backpack? I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you, will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I promise I'll... I guess I'll Yakusoku you that. Yay! Yatta! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? I don't know. You're a pushover. More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Sounds like me every day. Okay, here we go. The school day is as ordinary as ever. And it's over before I know it. And this is really... Okay, after I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Wow! Flutter... Goodness. Clubs. Sorry, Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Of course, that's where you start. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm not... I'm the only one left in the classroom. I can't read today, sorry guys. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you were just sitting there and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... Know what? Well, that you could come to my club! Sayori? Yeah? 
There is no way I'm going to your club. Uh, maybe. Soryuri is vice president of the literature club. Wow, I would never guess given the name of the... Not, not that I was even aware... Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. Can I just say that the art is really nice? In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after that, after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. She should have started the anime club, because, you know, they're in the anime and stuff. Sorry. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Uh, come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, twiddling the fingers. Look how tiny her hands are! They're so small! They're smaller than her eyeballs! I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And that Suki, that Suki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead. Or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. Probably both, I don't know. I let out a long... <sighs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes! Let's go! Ikimashou! Yay, yatta! Okay. My nose. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Pinky pie. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs. A section of the school I really visit, being generally used for third-year classes and activities. Sayuri, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. No sound effects? Everyone! Mira-san! The new member is here! I told you, don't call me a new member! Eh? Eh? I glance around the room. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayuri always says such nice things about you. Wait, is this another girl? <laughs> I can't tell, they all look the same. Way to kill the atmosphere! How many girls are there? I can't... Ah, flutter Chan, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. This club. Kono club. And full of incredibly kawaii desnit... Shoujo's. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Gomen. Natsuki. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Nats Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first here. She's also the, the one who made cupcakes. <laughs> Sorry, according to Sayori. You could just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear. Oh, I'm getting confused, guys, with the voices. I don't know, they all look the same! Sorry, that one is the with the nasal voice. The other one is the one with the... Okay. Remember that, please. Ah, oh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. And it sounds like you already know Monica. Is that right? There we go. That's right. Oh, it's great to see you again, Flutter-chan. What the... Moni Monica smiles sweetly. Is Monica a Japanese name? We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked. But we, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in school. Oh, in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. So, having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You too, Monica. Come sit down, Flutter-chan. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. Uh, is that, is that, is that... I'll get the cupcakes! What? No, I don't know. Oh no, that was her! <laughs> Getting confused. Sorry! Hey, I made them! I'll get them! I got a little too excited twiddling my little, tiny little fingers. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. I wish there was sound effects. As Sayuri mentioned, I don't, I still don't know their names. It's been, oh, as Sayuri mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayuri. Natsuki, Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room, where Natsuki grabs an, a, a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. You know, I, I don't... They did a kind of a terrible trying to know their names. Still feeling awkward, I took a seat next to Sayuri. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little nickels. 
The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So kawaii, Tasuke! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know, just hurry and take one. So your regrets won first, then Monica. I follow. It's Oyashi! Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around with my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. There's no... Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Are you okay, Natsuki? Do you need a napkin? Is she waiting for me to take a bite? Just please don't poison it! I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really Oishi. Arigato Natsuki-chan, or Natsuki-san, sorry, chan, sorry. Why are you thinking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before in anime? Made them for you or anything? Eh, eh? I thought you technically did. Sayori said... Well, maybe! Duh! But not for you, 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 you know you, baka! Alright, alright. This is already feeling like more like an anime. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a, t a tea set. She carefully places it. Where does she make the tea? She carefully places the teacup in front of each other, each of us, before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake. Why are we having so many baked goods? Can't this be a baking club instead? You made a whole tea. Oh, sorry. You keep you keep a whole tea set in this classroom. Don't worry. The teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Yeah, but... Oh, yeah. Oh, this is a literature club. I forgot. Ah, uh, uh, I, I, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh, th 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 it's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. Why are your feet... Your hands... You gir girls, your hands are so small. You need help. I meant that, you know. I believe you. What? What is this? Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. Can we have some drinks instead? Uh, Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Uh, uh no. I was afraid of this question, because I don't have an answer. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayuri. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm... Bikurush... Bikuri... Bikuri... That, 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 sorry, I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to teach you guys Japanese, guys! That this, how, come, how come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the... any of the major clubs. Weren't you the leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know... To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity about how the... Blah, blah, blah. Sorry, I'm losing my mind. I, 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 I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. It looks like you guys enjoy baked good instead. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Or you, man. That means dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't any more people in the club yet. Must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very in interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But if it makes school events like the festival that much more important, I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Yay! Right, everyone? Or Mina-san? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it! I, I, I can't stand this. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all different in the same, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have really worked hard uh, just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were also delight delighted by the, the idea of a new member joining. Because there's no one here in the school. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. They never even talked about literature. Oh, here we go. So, Flutterchan, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, I know manga. Considering how little I've read these past few years. 
I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I knew it! I knew you were gonna say manga! I muttered quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can't change. What am I saying? I don't even know! Sorry, I spoke. I want to have random outbursts, you guys. I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. She, she was smiling like that for the past couple. <laughs> anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her fingers. My favorites are usual novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She didn't even tell me a, a title. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. But it's obvious by the way her eyes li light up that she finds her comfort in, in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Like what? Tell me a title! Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagina imagination and to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, uh, I read a horror manga in that book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at a minimal level. You're so awkward, Flutter-chan, please. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Have more confidence! You're enjoying the literature club! Really? I, would have ex I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think... Or it takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. So real horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at a world of holy people. Ugh, oh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Is this the first time they're here? Why are they having this conversation? And what are the points of these things here in their hair? It's not covering anything. It's just... It's just... Sorry. Well, I, I just... Natsuki's, Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about kawaii things, don't you, Natsuki? Eh? Uh, Nani? What gives you that idea? You left this piece of scrap paper behind last class behind last class meeting. Oh, look at Natsuki. She's getting mad. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is just as kawaii as you are. Uh oh, Sayuri s s s s s s s sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not Kawaii! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. I don't know. Why do you care? I think that's kind of impressive, honestly. Why don't you share them sometime? D yeah, or Dame, or I don't know any other Japanese word, no. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Oh my gosh, girl. You need... You know, you think I'm talking to a rock? You are just like the traits of... Like... A shoe. Not very confident... Not a very confident writer yet? I understand, Natsuki. No one asked for your opinion, Yuri. Go sit down. Sure, that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is... is, is of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Mm. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Who's who? <laughs> Aww, I wanted to read everyone's poems. So Yuri, sit down too. We all sit in an awkward silence for a moment. <laughs> Can I leave now? Okay! I have an idea, everyone. Eh? Not and Yuri. <laughs> Sorry. Natsuki and Yuri look quiz qu quizzically at uh, Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, no. <sighs> Little small fingers, hands. How do we eat the cupcakes by yourself? Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Flutter? I thought I said Flutter Claws. I'm, I'm... Monica smiles warmly at me once again. There, she's been smiling the entire time. 
Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we're back on... Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club! Sayuri may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... I lose my train of thought. All four girls stand back at me with dejected eyes. Emma... I'm sorry, I thought... <laughs> Can I change the music to something more anime-ish? You all? Oh my gosh, that... Mina? Uh, I'm defen defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls... Come on! Get! Get up! Right. Okay, I've decided then. Kimita, I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yay! I'm so geeky! Sayuri wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Oi! You really did scare me for a second. Or for a moment. Sit down, Yuri! If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed! I didn't even know there would be cupcakes. If this was a baking... Why do you keep doing that, Monica? Sit down! You're not that important! Then that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club! Yay! Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, Mina-san. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight tonight's assignment? Write a poem to bring it to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks at me once more. Flutter-chan, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> I don't like her. Stop doing that movement. Uh, yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety. You did this to yourself! You did this to yourself. Just because you can't... There's, they're the only four students in your entire school. You just want to hang out with them. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki do not get clean up their food. Oh. Hey, Flutter-chan! Oh. Hey, Flutter-chan! Since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. Sayuri and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed at... She stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. I already sold my... Soul to the devil already. Yay! Small fingers. Oh my gosh, the music's the same thing. They could have made it sunset. With that, the two of us depart the classroom, or the club room, and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayuri, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica, the lamest voice. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball. Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances. And I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Wow. Where am I? It's time to write a poem! Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen to whoever likes your poem. Oh, wow. Vertigo, uncanny, bouncy, headphones, comfort, essence, loud, sticky. What are these... Choice of words? I guess we can just choose headphones. I guess, the first word. Um... Depression? Why? Holiday? Heartbeat? Dark? Star? Scrape? Happiness? Anime? Pink? I mean, I guess we'll choose anime. And then we'll choose Massacre. I'll choose it. And then, let's see. Um, Promise? Bliss? Clouds? Grief? Treasure? Um, I'm not gonna choose this word. We'll choose clouds. You know, nice and lovely clouds. Let's see. Fear? Skipping? You know what? Let's choose party, because that seems nice. Boop, romance, disarray, prayer, smile, kawaii. Mi Why would we choose all these? Okay, let's let's choose. Um, let's choose melody. Then we'll choose. Uh, I don't know. Let's choose uh, memories, because I like memories. You know, memories are nice. And we'll choose hope, because I have hope in myself. There's so many we have to choose. This is so much. I don't know. A sparkle. A uh, joy. Uh, Doesn't matter. The chocolate. Uh, uh, that word. I don't know what it was. Fluffy, because I like fluffy. Let's dance! Our, our, why are these words getting even more scary? Right, no, no, no. Sing! What? Did you hear that word? Oh, oh. Oh, are they dancing? Kitty, because nice things. Color at this point, yay! Uh, uh, dreams. I like dreams. Uh, imagination. Okay, we're done! Did I win the game? Hi, Flutter Chan! Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. I'm, I'm, I'm stuck at this point. This might be a little strange for me, 
but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Flutterjohn. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature while you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on! Like he deserves any slack! Sayuri told me you don't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too! I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't want to take us... But if you don't want to take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club... Oh, the drama. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Daisho Bumbina-san! Flutterchan always gives it his, his best as long as he's having fun. That's right, he, he helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. So Yuri, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. And you almost set your house on... And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> there you go with the fingers again. What is it? What is... You two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Flutterchan can make become good friends too. Uh, oh no. S so, oh come come on seriously. Like... Ah! Dot dot dot. As usual, Sorori Sor Sor seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. I mean, it wasn't really that weird. You made it weird. Oh oh, Yuri even bought you something today, you know. Mate Sayori. Eh? Uh, uh, uh Um, not really. Don't be shy. Uh, it's really nothing. What is it? What? A uh, manga? Uh, never mind. Sorry, Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Oh, uh, what do I do? Eh? Go with it, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, you don't worry about it. This is so weird, I swear. Look at that tiny hand! First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. <laughs> is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Oh. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I don't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. Well, thank you. I got to tell you, Yuri. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. We could, you know, discuss it if you want. Hey, she sounds kind of like me. Maybe I should change your voice. No, no, we're not. Korewa. How is this girl accidentally being so kawaii? She even picked out a book she thought I liked. She thinks I like, despite me not reading much. Arigato, Yuri. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. We don't even know what the book is! Come on. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. So Yuri and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. What kind of literature club is this? What are we doing? We're just, it's just free time doing the... I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Oh. Are we gonna... S Man. Are we gonna see any more visuals? It looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slump down to the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature-related by myself like this? This guy is such a loner. Sorry! <laughs> I'm so... I guess I can always read some of the book Yuri gave me. But I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. Come on, you're so lame, Flutterchon! Close my eyes and end up listening in on Sayori's conversation with Monica. We're probably gonna seem really lame compared to all the other clubs, though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that at all, you know? We just need a way to sh We just need to find... We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks in their creative minds. Solve the problem.
You know, everyone's saying you know a lot. I just realized that, you know. And after they come, we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? So Yuri is taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberately deliberating like this. Huh, that's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? <gasps> what kind? Uh, well, I guess we could... Cupcakes! Wait, isn't... Isn't Natsuki the one with the cupcakes? Ah, uh, good thinking. Natsuki would love to. Yeah, there we go. There, uh, there we go. Ah, oh, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That's right, I do. This one that will work out perfectly. That, that wasn't why you suggested it. Cupcake speaks to my creative tummy. Um, uh, hey, her thing for one. Sorry. Cupcakes, it is then. Anyway, we still need to work on the de the details of the event itself. Okay, I find myself smiling. I thought you were sleeping. In the end, Sayuri is still her usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Like me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all. Oh dear. Sayuri can put her mind to things and make them come to life. Oh boy. I suppose that's why I ended up letting her... I end up letting her get on my case about things. I'm sorry, I can't read today, guys. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Ah! Look at that blurry... I open my eyes to find Sayori's face fill filling my vision. I nearly fell out of my chair. <laughs> Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't a napping club. It should have been. It should have been the cooking club, I'm telling you. Does that school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know? You'll need to get used to it. Oh, don't say that out loud! I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true, though. Yeah. I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayuri. <laughs> you little hands. It's what I do best! That's a problem! What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? That's not very convincing, oh my, this conversation, guys. I, I, I'm really curious what what, what, how, what direction this will go, guys. So far, I'm kind of into it, but at the same time, I'm not... How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? So, so uh, uh, that's a secret. Yeah, buddy. Come on! At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Sayori, it's written all over you. Eh? Sayori glances around at herself. How is it written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all over, all around here. I mean, I, I guess so. Wasn't it like that? Yes. Okay. Huh? I run my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair, trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need to brush this. My hair is just really hard to get it right. Guys, what is this story about? All we're talking about right now is Sayori's hair and cupcakes and... and <laughs> we'll figure it out. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't even straight. She looks nice. Stop it, Flutter Chan. Stop. And there's toothpaste stain on your collar right here. Where? I try to wipe off the stain with my finger. But, but no one would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's gonna tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. I mean, I know I don't feel like that would be the case. I feel like friends would tell each other if there's toothpaste on your collar. I don't see why they won't. Fortunately, I really don't care about that. Hey, you booty with the tiny fingers. And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayuri. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend? You Fluttershun, you are so mean! Here you are set like a rock. You can't even talk to these girls. You're literally in a literature club because you can't, can't talk to girls. And you're complaining about her because she has a collar unbuttoned and her this toothpaste. Eh? That's super mean. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. Flutter Child, get out of here. Go to sleep. Go to bed. I start to button her blazer from the bottom. No, but get away from her. Get away from her. W once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. I, I swear, Flutter Child. Oh. Eh? 
Should we censor this? No, we shouldn't. This is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking about how weird it is to have a friend who does these kind of things. Yeah, even she's getting it. Eh? D don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it, Baka. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Uh, I guess. This is like, oh my... Look how her... The, her feet... Okay, be careful. The bonnet might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? Oh gosh, guys. <sighs> I struggled to fully close the button near her chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> it's it when I bought it. Guys, like, at this point, Literature Club is just conversation club. They're just making, like, meaningful topics to talk about. If you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? I'm not reading that. And I'm not gonna give you the- any of you guys the, the, the entertainment to reading that. So look at it! Next. D don't say that out loud! <laughs> anyway, you look much better now, so... Ah. Why does it feel so strange to see Sayori's blazer button up like that? Flutter Chan, you need to get some... coffee. But it's so stuffy! Sayori, it's just a buttoned up bla blazer! What difference would it make? Make? Bake? Ooh... It's not worth it at all! Sayori hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. Phew! Good thing we didn't have to... The artist didn't have to redraw me again with the blazer up. That's so much better! Sorry, put, Sayori puts her arms out and twirls around. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sayori... So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of what? Flutter Chan, that's exactly what you said. And why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because... If I have a boyfriend, then he won't ever let you do things like this. And you take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things! Eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm reading like a Facebook conversation at this point. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Should we... I don't know if we're gonna skip all of this. But at this point, I don't feel like... I feel like this is what you guys want me to do. Talk about... Blazers and buttons and stuff. Fine, fine. It's a deal. <laughs> I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are at taking care of ourselves. That's sad. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you could come wake me up and... Uh, the other... The other classmates are like, Oh, Sayori, Flutterchan, what about us? You know, we can talk about books too. You're doing it again, Sayori. But I was joking this time. Man, it's impossible to tell you what uh, you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Thank you, Monica. Eh? Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Thank you! Thank you, Monica! Yay! Flutter Chan, I can't wait to read yours! Yeah, same. I failed to sound enthusiastic. But Sayori still trots away to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Y yeah My realization ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. You agreed to go to the literature club. You should've got a nap napping club. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, not that everyone's ready. Why don't you find someone to, sh to share with? I can't wait! Sayuri and Monica enthusiastically pulls out their poems. Sayuri's in on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica writes wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Oh gosh, you paying attention to her handwriting, bro? Come on. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Oh, who should I show my poem to first? Let me think. Get Sayori out of here. She's she needs some help. She needs some milk. Monica seems like, like Monica seems like the only sane person. Natsuki's kind of nice, I guess, you know. I, I kinda like her. Yuri is just like She's not gonna tell me the title of her books. She's just... She's just up and like... Oh. I think I'm gonna go to Natsuki. Because I feel like I need to open up to her a lot more. So, Natsuki it is. That is the right girl, right? <laughs> I told Natsuki I was interested in her poems yesterday. 
It's probably only fair if I shared mine with her first. Please be the biker. Yeah, thank you. Huh? Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt, Pinkie Pie. Well, excuse me, princess. It's not like I said it was bad. It just didn't evoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your taste? Do you want to get some... What kind of... What kind of... A poem being cute? What? what? I'll pass. Sigh! Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Oh, eagles can fly. Monkey can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. Click... Okay. Yeah! I told you that you were gonna... You should've stick to cupcakes, Natsuki. That was... That's your specialty. You should've... I like it. I... Don't... What? Just be honest. I am. It's... Nice. Why are you so convinced that I won't like it? Well... Because... I have pink eyebrows! Because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. Why are you always blushing and having a sweatshirt? Are you okay? Do you need... But isn't the point of... Isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Yeah. Your writing style wouldn't... Won't, wouldn't make your message any less valid. I mean, eagles can fly and people can try, right? Look at your message. Yes, exactly. I like when it's... I like when it's easier to read. When it's easy to read, but it... It hits you hard. Okay. Like this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. Natsuki was just a poem about eagles. <laughs> so I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. No, I don't. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like, I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more... I guess more went, went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro! You're still sweaty. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is. Yes, you do. But if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. That was fun. Who should I show my poem next? <sighs> Sayori deserves time out. Or does she? I don't know. Yuri? Maybe Yuri? I don't... I'll show Yuri. Hi. <laughs> Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passed. Oh, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Uh, Anna. Oh, go I forgot to start speaking. Gary, are you serious? Oh no! It's fine. Don't force yourself. Just talk. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess... I guess that it might be after reading through it. Uh, so it's that bad? No! Did I just raise my voice? Oh my gosh. Wow. Is that really me? I feel like that's me. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yuri bur buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. That's the whole game. Sorry. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um... It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most notable noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that the both is that both the style and the expressiveness this are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stam stam stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills in- Oh, my goodness, God. The literature club. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time. But if it all comes with practice, and learning by example, and trying new things, I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. 
Masking can be a little bit biased, though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. I mean, they're right over there. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do! I love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamingly, as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Yes, I know! Wow, look at the, the music change. Ghosts under the light. The, the tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the, the, the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Calm's breathing air. Calm breathing air is of the present, but living in the past. The light flicken, flicken, flickens. I flicker back. That was beautiful. I don't understand it, though. What's your thought process, Yuri? I I'm sorry. I have such terrible hand... Yeah, you kind of do, honestly. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. <laughs> but it took you so long to read that. How does she know that? Uh... Well, I just don't read script very often. Yeah, that's why I'm, I'm stuttering with all these words and making... I'm forgetting everybody. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. It, that's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. I don't really know what was it. What was it? it wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest, since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Flutter John. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Oh, that was me. Sorry, I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being sim symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering, lingering is her last remaining piece, place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. Oh my gosh, guys. I don't, I don't know. I, I wish I can, I, I really know, wish I can, I can know the point to this. I mean, it, it's kind of interesting, kind of not. I haven't even thought of that. Yeah, that's impressive. It's nothing really. Well... Makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Yay, okay, that was very interesting. Alright, um... Sayori or Monica? I'll go with Monica because I just kind of feel like, you know... I, I guess I don't... I don't know, I haven't talked to her a lot. But she better not do that pose again, I keep seeing. Hi, Flutter-chan! Having a good time so far? Uh, kinda. Good, glad to hear it. Look at that hand. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Yeah, I don't... I never... There it is! The poem again! I hate that pose. I don't like that pose. It makes me feel intimidated. Don't worry, Flutter Chan. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? There is no. Yeah. But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I hear Monica in my poem. Mm hmm. I like this one. Makes me think of something Sayuri would like. Is that so? You and Sayuri are really good friends, right? I won't be surprised if you had these sort of things in common. Uh, well, we may be good friends, but Sayuri and I are actually really different. Hmm... Well, that may be the case, but... Maybe there are also some similarities that you won't expect. The way she talks about you... It sounds like the two of you really care about each, other well -being, each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Hmm... I didn't really think about that. I actually just kind of po press random... Things! You sure, you sure you're not reading into it too much? <laughs> Look at that pose. I swear. I sound like Yuri. But in any case, so Yuri's writing has kind of a gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? 
Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit, either. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. Okay, let's go to the next... Let's go to the next person, please. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's Daisha Boo. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you! Everyone else might be a little bit biased toward their own kind of styles, but I'll... But I'll, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't for your, force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about expressing... I don't like her. There's something about her that's too green. Her eyes. Her... 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 her that pose! I swear! <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? Soka. Well, let's read it then. Whoa, this is long. What the heck? What the heck, Monica? Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction that spac that's the spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas... Already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It won't. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep, stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out, and he on the other side was looking in. Whoa. So what do you think? Honestly, that was my. That's my favorite. It's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really in. I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Ahaha, uh, it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Yeah. Ah, uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. Don't do the pose. Don't do the pose. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about these stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, don't do the pose. Here's Monica's right... I didn't ask for a tip of the day! Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Don't do the pose. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Don't do the pose. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. Yeah, so just move your hand and go with the flow. Don't do the pose. That's my advice. Okay, I didn't ask for your advice, Monica. Thanks for listening. Okay. Like, are you gonna walk out of the... Okay, she's gone. Alright, so you're, you're next with your button up blaze. Oh, you took the time. We need the poem. Oh my goodness, this is so good, Flutter John! Eh? I love it! Daisuke Aishinu! I had no idea you were such a good writer! Sayuri? You must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all, I just picked random. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Mataku. Yuri's opinion was way more constructive than this. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Hmm? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem, it's a Fluttershot poem! <laughs> that makes it extra special! Like I can feel your feelings in it! Sayuri hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sayuri. I'm no different. I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It's just reminds me of how you're really part of the club now. You forced me, though. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like you said before, Fluttershy. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know. Nah. Oh, I guess that's what they're trying to say, you know. Nah. Sorry. To try new things like this is for other people. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. 
Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all... Oh, okay. Yeah. And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold you that to that, then. Yay! Gal, you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> I don't get the point of this. We'll see. Okay, let's see. Dear Sunshine, The way you... Dear Mario, The way you glow through... Through my blinds in the morning. It makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of the bed makes me makes me making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Beautiful. Sayori. This is just a guess, but. Did she wait until this morning to write this? No! It's just a bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. There's the fingers again. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still try my best. Uh, I guess so. I don't... I didn't mean to say that it was not It was a bad poem. Flutter-chan, I swear. I, I would like to see what you wrote. It came out nice, or should I put it? It sounds just like you. Hoto? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast! Even though you were late to school? It's bad to skip breakfast. Look at the... <laughs> and you're not crazy. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this one was so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I, I don't really have an opinion about it. But next time... Uh, but next time I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Yay! Well, I guess I look forward to it. Alright, well. That made my nose itchy. Whew, yeah. I guess that's everyone. There's only four people. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. Yeah, same. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. I'm waiting for the punchline, I'm waiting for the fun things. Honestly, Flutter Chan is a jerk. Someone out there takes him serious will take this game seriously and will take his work so seriously. This is literature club after all. I sigh. <sighs> I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Yeah, it's your fault, not Sayuri. Across the room, Sayuri and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly ex exchange sheets of paper, sharing their perspective poem. Their respective poem, uh, what? <laughs> As they read in, in, in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration, uh-oh. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Hmm? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, domorika to Mr. Roboto. Yours is kawaii desne. Kawaii desne? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feelings of giving up. How can that be kawaii desne? Uh, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Domo, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Oh, no. Well, I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Yeah, you go, girl. Natsuki, you with your blushy, sweaty. Which people did, by the way. Sayuri liked it. And Flutterchan did, too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all... Excuse I appreciate the offer, but I spend a lot of time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring. Honestly, it's more entertaining to watch these guys talk. Which I haven't yet. <laughs> and Flutter Chan liked my poem too, you know. Yeah, it was okay. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Uh oh? I didn't realize he was so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? Oh, I thought... I thought something... Okay. That's not what I... Uh, you, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that flutter -chan appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Uh-oh, girl fight. Get the popcorn. Huh! And how do you know 
he didn't appreciate my advice more. Are you that full of yourself? No, blah, 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 blah. I... No. If I was full of myself, I wouldn't deliberately go out of my way to make my, everything I do overly cutesy. Uh, it wasn't... G girls! Uh, uh, no! Is everyone dying to aboard this car? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one who's... Oh. Natsuki! Uh, Natsuki, that's a joke though. This, this doesn't, doesn't involve, involve you! you. I, I don't like fighting guys! <laughs> Suddenly, both girls turned towards me, as if they just noticed I was standing there. Fluttershawn! She, she's, she's trying to make me look bad! That's not true! She started it! If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this, uh, this wouldn't have happened in the first place! What's the point of making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out of the reader, not force them not to... I agree. Honestly, I agree. Let me explain that to her, Flutter-chan. Chichoto, there's no reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the mo the more the most effective. Yeah, I mean that's true, Yuri, but if we don't understand the, the, the complex feelings that you're really trying to convey, can we really understand the meanings of your poem? Yeah, I just pulled up the card. Avoiding them is not only unnecessary limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that right, Flutter Chan? Um well? well how did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about right, but whoever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. Okay. So be honest, being honest with you, Melonheads, honestly, I think Natsuki's honestly in the right more. Because I didn't really understand Yuri's poem. Not at all. If I stay in the middle side, though, and if I go to, to Sayori, I... I don't... I don't know. Should I be on the... Should I be on the safe side? Or should I actually choose what my heart is really saying here? That's her, right? The pink girl? Yeah. I'm gonna choose Pinky Natsuki. Because I just feel like... I feel like she makes sense. I... I, I feel like it would make more... Sense? Alright, Natsuki. It is you. Um... Yuri? You're really talented. Uh, well... My throat is like... <laughs> but Natsuki has a point. I think that... I rack my brain in an attempt to back myself up. I think that conveying feelings with few words can be just as expressive as well. I mean, that is what I was saying, but at the same time, I'm also saying that if you say too many complex words and you try to be too hashtag too deep for me, then will anyone really understand what you're trying to convey? Or will they just make up their own their own meaning? I don't know. I, I, what am I talking about? It lets the reader's imagination take over. And Natsuki's poem did a really good job at that. Yeah! <laughs> Didn't it? <laughs> Shows how much you know. That, that's not... Natsuki, I think that's enough. Huh? What does she know? But she was so mean to me. Natsuki's voice whines. Look, what we talked about yesterday was right. Writing is a really personal thing. And sharing it can definitely be hard. It looks like we learned that today. Even small criticism can lead to something really heated. I glance over my shoulder. So Yuri is nodding vigorously. <laughs> yeah, so you don't need to feel threatened. You're a great writer, Natsuki. Uh, Natsuki's voice gets caught by surprise. Thanks for noticing. She finally mutters that barely audible. Yuri? <gasps> Yuri looks at me dejected, dejectedly. With a face like that, I can't help but feel bad for her as well. I don't feel bad. G g fight more. I'm sure that Natsuki didn't mean, mean everything she said. So you don't need to feel threatened either. Well, if you say so. Hey! It's not like you need to apologize for me, Flutter-chan. Sheesh. Natsuki takes a breath. I... The thing about... Ooh. Natsuki glanced around the room. What well, everyone stop staring at me! Unsurprisingly, Natsuki has a harder time with it than she boasted. So Yuri and Monica looked away. <laughs> Tonikaku! I'm not gonna say that word. But there's... She's saying sorry, okay? Natsuki looks away, avoiding eye contact with everyone. Yeah, you're naturally beautiful, Yuri! So Yuri! I'll go make some tea. Uh, I was just trying to help. I'm sure she appreciated it, Sayuri, I guess. I pat Sayuri on the shoulder. Well, now that we're past that, everyone read, uh, read each other's poems, right? I hope that it was worthwhile for everyone. No! The poem, 
pose, the pose, the pose, the pose. And to be honest, it's a nice change of pace for the for from the lacing around we get from the okay. The, the Angel Bunny's phone. Come on, Angel Bunny, turn off your phone. Okay, keep going. Is this recording? Monica, stop laughing. Uh, so my joining the club was responsible for ruining the atmosphere. No, no, not at all, not at all. There's still time before we go home. So we'll all have to relax for a bit. We talked a lot! We talked a lot, Monica! So maybe you could take the chance to pick up a book or do some writing. After all, that's what the club is for. I disagree, Monica. Uh, about what? That's not the most important thing about the literature club. The most important thing is having fun! Uh huh, of course. Well, I guess that's why you're the vice president, Sayuri. <laughs> okay. In the end, though, Monica's right. Being in the literature club probably means I can't spend all my time doing nothing. But in the end, I guess it's been worth it so far. Alright, well that happened. Okay, Mina-san. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was Tadashi. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. I don't know. I can't tell anymore. I'm blushing so much. Can you guys give me some, food, some a drink? Flooded Chun, how about you? Uh, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about, talk about with everyone. Sugoi desu ne. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learn something from your friends, too. You said they were my friends. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I did learn a little bit more about kind of about the kinds of poems everyone likes. I did. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. That's all you really want, isn't that, Fluttershawn? I nod to myself a newfound determination. Fluttershawn! Ready to walk home? Sure. Ikimasho. Hehehehe. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It truly really has been a while since Sayori and I spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Alright. Here we go. Sayori. About what happened earlier. Oh, uh, You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, 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 no. That really is the first kind of first time I've seen you fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. Don't don't hate them. No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they make good friends with you. No, you know, Flutter Chan. It's nice that I get to spend time with you at the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. She's, she's, she's intoxicatedly too excited. Uh, happy. I think everyone else will like it too. She's like Pinkie Pie, but different. That's. <laughs> Every day is gonna be so much Tano Shi. Sigh. It looks like Sayuri still hasn't caught up to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? Huh? What do you mean by that? Well, we'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayuri. Uh, Sayuri! I pat Sayuri on the shoulder. Stop touching her! I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayuri as an eternal monologue sometimes. I swear, you're not friends with her! Hi! Yeah. Gunbutt dead. <laughs>